Okay, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to export an exam view question bank or test and import that into your uh, canvas as a quiz or a test bank. A uh, couple of notes. This is exam view uh, for the PC. Uh, this is version 6.2 and I believe last time I checked it does not work in the Mac OS version and I don't have uh, the newest version of exam view so it may not work in uh, later editions of uh, exam view. So what you're going to do um, let's say we're going to we can uh, open up a question bank or we can open up a test and the process is the same for each. I'll just choose a uh, question bank. So we'll open an existing question bank. Uh, we gotta go find okay so let's say I want to take my conceptual physics chapter 5 projectile motion question bank and I'll open that and then I'm going to go over here to file and I want to export and I want to choose the webct slash vista4 option I'm going to call it projectile motion save that to my downloads folder and hit save you can use the question bank title and I usually use the HTML without default fonts I haven't tried anything else and it seems to work okay so you hit okay now we're going to get into Canvas. We're going to go to Settings. Okay, we're in Settings. Over here on the right, we want to import content into the course. And we want to import quizzes. We're going to choose the QTI zip package, which is the file we just downloaded which I call projectile motion bank hit open we're going to leave this alone and if not specified in the export questions will go into this question bank we'll say new question bank and the new question bank name will be projectile motion and we're going to hit the import quiz button. Now uh, what will happen is Canvas will kinda work in the background to upload the file and then as it says it's gonna send you an email when it's done so this will be a good chance to get a cup of coffee and uh, come back and uh, then check uh, your email or go back over here to your quizzes. It usually doesn't take that long but depending on what you have there, your mileage may vary. So we'll go back over here to quizzes, and this looks like it right here. It's the unpublished quiz, and it doesn't have a name. So if we want, we can just go ahead and delete that, or you can take a look at it by clicking on it, edit this quiz. And so there's all the projectile motion questions that I imported. But if I just want this as a question bank, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this. That's okay. I'm going to delete it. And then uh, when you come over here and click on manage question banks, you'll see no name practice course. So apparently that the naming feature of the um, question bank isn't working. So I'm just going to go ahead and rename that projectile motion and 
there we go and then uh, you can go in there and edit those questions and there they are and uh, you next step may be to uh, make a quiz so you create a new quiz and this is uh, the projectile motion quiz and go like that we'll say new question group choose projectile motion select that bank and questions are going to be pulled from the projectile motion bank and we can pick how many we want to pull so um, let's pick uh, five questions and let's make them two points per question and create that group so um, there we go. You can say um, enter And there you go. You can um, choose all these different options over here. You can shuffle the answers if you want. You can set a time limit. Um, let students see their quiz responses. Uh, show which were the correct answers. Uh, allow for multiple attempts. You can choose how many. Keep the highest score or the latest score. Um, you can allow for you know however many attempts you want so if you wanted three attempts at it or two attempts at it or if you just wanted to keep this at one it's fine you can set a due date uh, let's say it's tomorrow and you can lock it after a certain time um, or lock it until a certain time so students can't get into the quiz uh, before a certain time you can also um, choose to restrict the quiz and require an access code that only you would give them so you can type in a special code here so there's lots of different options in here so you'd hit publish quiz and then you're good to go and you can kind of take the quiz yourself to see what it looks like um, and there we go. There's your quiz. Pretty cool. And uh, the advantage of doing it this way is that you have, uh, you know, over 40 questions I think in that question bank I exported, and you're only uh, choosing five. So virtually no quiz is going to be the same, especially if you scramble the answers. And notice that none of these questions are lettered which cuts down on cheating quite a bit. It makes it harder to cheat. So there you have it.